Hey everyone, so whether you're an early riser or you're somebody who prefers to sleep till noon, Aura's Smart Ring's newest update adds new analytics to determine your body's natural circadian rhythms or chronotype, giving you metrics to help determine your optimal sleep schedule. This may be the answer to why some of you are extra grumpy and unproductive in the mornings. Now this chronotype analysis is part of a new suite of sleep tracking features Aura announced this week alongside other new health metrics available to subscribers with Aura's $6 monthly service. Aura's members will now be assigned to one of six chronotypes, such as being an early riser or a night owl or something in between. This chronotyping comes along with a body clock that Aura says will provide an optimal sleep schedule based on your particular type. Now, what exactly is a chronotype? Well, Aura says that your chronotype is, quote, strongly determined by your genetic makeup and reflects your individual circadian rhythm or your body's approximate 24-hour internal clock, which regulates alertness, digestion, and hormonal release. And why does chronotype matter? Well, according to Matthew Walker, PhD and author of Why We Sleep and an Aura advisor, knowing and living in accordance with your chronotype can benefit your well-being, energy levels, and sleep. A natural schedule for sleep and wake times is based on our unique biology and we release key hormones for managing stress and emotions at different times, which can have a cascading effect on the time of day, including peak times for brain function work and even exercise. Now, chronotypes certainly aren't a new concept for wearables as both Samsung Galaxy Watch and Fitbit Premium analyze a wearer's chronotype and characterizes them, though in those cases as a cartoon animal, such as a hedgehog, a parrot, are a porcupine, I believe. But Aura takes a more straightforward approach here, stripping out the animals and just laboring users as certain types. So to calculate your chronotype, Aura analyzes your sleep, your activity, and body temperature data from the past 90 days. The six types being, according to Aura, uh, the early morning type. If this is you, you feel awake, alert, and energetic in the early mornings. For you, morning is the time to do a workout and intellectual work alike. Then there's the morning type. If this is you, you generally love getting up uh, with the sun and going to bed early. You tend to be alert and energetic in the morning. Late morning type, and this is you, you are more of a morning type, but not to the extreme intermediate in some classifications, and you tend to be more productive in the mornings. You enjoy going to bed early most evenings, but you don't mind the occasional late night either. Then there's the early evening type. If this is you, you are more of an evening type, but not to the extreme. Uh, you enjoy the occasional late night, but don't mind going to bed early either. Keeping the social schedules feels easy to you, even if you could go without too many early mornings. That sounds kind of like me. Anyway, the evening type, if this is you, you cherish your late nights. As others start to wind down, you actually become more awake and alert. And then there's the late evening type. If this is you, you need your sleep in the morning, so don't feel guilty about it. It's good for your body and mind. And on some days, you may not feel fully awake until the afternoon. But according to Aura, less than 10% of people are late evening types. Now, in addition to this chronotyping and personal body clock, Aura is also introducing an additional support for those with irregular sleep schedules, like shift workers or parents with young kids. All this, Aura says, will now be taken into consideration when calculating your overall sleep score. A new feature called Bedtime Guidance will also help slowly nudge you toward going to bed at the optimal time with tips and guidance. Now, Aura is also adding a new sleep regularity metric to gauge how consistently you have slept over a two-week period which then feeds into your readiness score, which is Aura's signature assessment of how prepared you are on to take on the day's tasks ahead. Now, while some of these new features will be available for both the Gen 2 and Gen 3 versions of the Aura Ring, the body clock and chronotype features are exclusive to Gen 3 owners with an active subscription. Now, personally, I think all this sounds great and I'm looking forward to testing it all out and seeing what my personal type is because I never really know. Sometimes I like to work late into the night and other times I like to work early in the mornings and sometimes both. So maybe I just don't like sleep, though I don't know if that's actual a type of chronotype. But it does seem to be a very good update with some new metrics being added that could be really useful, especially once Aura has determined your chronotype Having it slow you nudge with suggestions to adjust your sleep to a time period that will be more beneficial to you. Now, I am curious if it will take account your current sun schedule for where you are currently at. For 
example, I know that some people benefit from shifting their sleep schedule a bit based on when the sun rises and sets. And so I'll be curious to see how in depth this new feature goes and if it evolves over time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my review of the new Aura Ring Gen 3 here. As always, appreciate you being here. This is Colin with Connect the Watts and I'll see you next time.